see if I can get this on here without it falling. So I'm just basically sticking that camera there, but if it falls, it's gonna go bang and pipe break. Anyway, I'll continue here. I'll go back a little bit here. Okay, what I'm, what I'm reading here is uh, Jeremiah 15:51. The reason why is because it seems to go along with the uh, uh, events in the Middle East in our time. Uh, of course, I've been thinking that way since uh, 1990, ever since Iraq invaded Kuwait. But hey, with Mosul being uh, surrounded by with the Kurds and they're starting to come down against them with the uh, American air cover, it just seems like it's lit up again here. So I'll continue read as to why here. All right. Okay. As God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. And that could be, if that's true, and if Iraq is Babylon in our time, It sounds like something major is going to happen pretty soon. You know, maybe because of the the nukes that uh, all blamer let Iran have, you know, or maybe Russian nukes the place. I don't know, but that sounds now it could be symbolic. Babylon also could be Sunni Islam, and it becomes desolate due to the caliphate crumbling in Iraq when uh, the Kurds come down and kick the upraised Sunni patidis of ISIS. Yeah, you know, operating patooties and prostration of ISIS, if you know what I mean. So it could mean it could be symbolic too, or it could be something really major. I'll continue here. That's if it's in our time. So I'll continue here. All right. All right. Uh, behold, a people shall come from the north, and to me the people from the north are Kurds. And a great nation. And I think that's probably America since America is now helping the Kurds by giving them air cover. And a king shall be raised up from the coasts of the earth. They shall hold the bow and the lance. They are, and to me, the 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 kings that are being raised up from the coast of the earth are like your the Qatar, uh, Gulf of, the the uh, Arab Emirates, you know, um, Yemen, Oman, places like that. They're all being wakened up on the coast of the earth. The earth, not all the earth, but only to me. It says earth here. I think it means the Haretz, which would be um, the Holy Land the uh, Arabian Peninsula, that that part there. Okay, uh, at the coast of the earth. Uh, okay. Yeah. They shall hold the bow in the land, they are cruel, and they will not show mercy, and they shall roar like the sea, and they shall ride upon horses. Now this, again, could be something that's already happened due to the Mongols coming down on their horses to overthrow Baghdad a long time ago, but I think it could also could be symbolic. I'll tell you why later on here. Okay. Everyone put an array like a man to the battle against the O daughter of Babylon. The daughter of Babylon, I think, probably is Iraq in our time. The king of Babylon. Now, to me, the king of Babylon used to be Saddam. But now I think the king of Babylon is a blamer because he pretty much calls the shots in Iraq now. You know, he's, he could have conquered it or not. But he is, to me, the king of Babylon in our time hath heard the report of them okay now oh oh i see this <laughs> this could be talking about i used to think this was saddam because it's it fit well with him during the first during the second first and second gulf war the king of babylon which could be saddam then but i think is a blamer now in our time hath heard the report of them american troops and his hands waxed feeble anguish took hold of him and pangs as a woman in travail behold he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan unto the habitation of the strong. I think this happened during the first Gulf War. Uh, Israel uh, planes came up to bomb Baghdad, nuke it. But I will make them suddenly turn, uh, run away from her. And who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? For who is like me and who uh, will appoint me the time? And who is that shepherd that will stand against me? So anyway... It's definitely not going to be me to appoint the time. <laughs> but it sounds like it was going to rise up and it was it was uh, put off. But now, with what's happening with the Mosul 
and the Kurds and uh, this ISIS, it sounds like it's gonna, it could happen again big time now. It actually will actually fulfill itself, but we'll see. Okay. Therefore, ye, um, therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Babylon and his purposes that he hath purposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. I used to think this was fulfilled during the first Gulf War because uh, even the least of the flock he had reporters drawing out the Iraqis. But now I think it's something else here. At the noise of taking a Babylon, which could be Sunni Islam in our time, because, you know, when Iraq fell, when the Saddam statue fell down, nothing happened. So it could be Babylon as Sunni Islam. The, at the noise of the taken Babylon, the earth is moved and a cry is heard among the nations. So when this time when Mosul falls, which would be the fall of Sunni Islam, since to me, again, Sunni Islam is ISIS, since ISIS is Sunni Islam personified, that could... Uh, yeah, a cry is heard among the nations. So, anyway, uh, that's Jeremiah 50. But I will now read you Jeremiah 51, which to me is even more for our time. To me, Jeremiah 50 was more like the Gulf War. But now with Jeremiah 51, it's more for our time. So I'll read that to you next here. All right, let's see here. Got five more minutes left here. Jeremiah 51 coming up here. All right. Ah, King James Version. Okay, there. Yeah. Jeremiah 51 coming up here. Okay. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will rise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. And I think that destroying wind right now is a, pal a, a helicopter, a pal a, a, a Apache helicopter gunships. They're going in and they're wiping it out. ISIS in Mosul. And before that, it was, um, well, actually, later on, that destroying wind sounds a lot more ominous here. I'll continue here. And I'll send unto Babylon fanners. And if you are back in the time of Jeremiah, you see a, a helicopter. It, you, you see it's fanning the ground. You'd call it a fanner, you know? I'm thinking that fanners, helicopters. Yeah, and I'll send them to Babylon, which probably is Mosul in our time now. Or because it's actually I used to, well, actually during the Gulf War I said I thought <laughs> I thought the Gulf War Babylon was Iraq. Now I'm thinking it's more than just Iraq. It's Sunni Islam. It's it's Mosul. It's it's just that sort of stuff here. So, but since uh, Sunni Islam to me is Babylon, it's now located in Mosul. Mosul has become the latest Babylon. At least for our time. Who knows what will be in the future, but for now, it is in our time. Uh, Mosul is now Babylon for us. Okay. And ascended to Babylon, which would be Mosul in our time, fanners, helicopters, that shall fan her and shall empty her land. And right now, we've got helicopter, uh, hel helicopter gunships, we've got uh, Apache helicopters getting, getting ISIS now. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. Against her, I think is ISIS, Sunni Islam. Against him that bendeth the bow, against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. Against him that lifteth himself up in his brigand, brigandine, that's his armor. And spare ye not her young man, her young man. Destroy her, destroy ye utterly all her host. Thus saith the Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they sh which is the Iraqis. Chaldeans are located in Iraq. And they that are thrust through in, the st in her streets. For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his God. You see, there's a, di there's a difference between Israel and Judah. There's, a di there's, there's you, got, you got Israel, and you've got Judah. Judah is one of the tribes of Israel. And to me, the Kurds and the Yazidis and the people that live in those areas 
have a lot of Israeli blood in them. So Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his God. And if you see what happens in Revelation, there's going to be 144,000. It's going to be 12,000 of this, 12,000 of that of Israelis making up 144,000. So yeah, if that's true, God really has not forsaken Israel. That's for sure. Yeah, for Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his God, for the Lord of hosts, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. I think is Iraq in our time. And deliver every or Mosul. And deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will rent unto her a recompense. So what to me what it to, that's to me like a Oh, shoot. I'll get back.